Hello everyone, this is Eva from Plan with Eva on Instagram, and this week I'm going to be planning with a kit from Letters to Apollo. It's this beautiful autumn kit, and it has all the vibes of autumn. I love all the different full boxes that it has, and the different leaves and the foiling on this. Some of it is just so minimalistic, as well as some boxes just ties in so well together. And I really like the bottom washi, so I used it for this spread and something unique that I did this week is I had some extra bottom washi overlays um, from my extra sticker stash so I ended up using it for the top and it's just these scattered hearts and the foil for this kit is gold as you can see so I don't have a lot of decorative elements for this kit but I tried the, doing the best that I could but I also wanted to kind of keep this spread a little bit more simple I was waiting a long time for day extenders to come and they were just taking forever and I really needed it to plan some of my days so I was waiting for the longest time and I'm so glad I can finally plan um, because the order arrived but the quality of the paper is very different from what it was like before and the quality is not as great so I'm on the lookout for more day extenders if you guys know of any places please list them down below and I'll check them out because I'm on the hunt now um, it seems like they had a different either a paper malfunction or something so she had to order from a different place and um, the quality is just not the best and the paper it doesn't fold as nicely so it keeps popping up and you'll see on my next spread um, how that happens but right now I just put down all the different glitter headers and all of these came with the kit I chose these three different colors and I did it how I normally do which is just a cascading effect um, same color at the top same color in the middle and the same color on the bottom and since the bottom washi I used the darker one on the bottom, I thought it would balance really well to use the darker one at the top and I just did a kind of ombre effect where the darker one is at the top and then the middle one is kind of the medium color and then the lighter one is on the bottom. And I thought that really tied in really well with this spread because it was so minimalistic. Um, I just can't get over how beautiful the different backgrounds look. Um, as soon as I saw this kit, it just reminded me of planting roses. It reminded me of autumn and just um, a lot of the DIY people when they do paintings, um, the minimalistic paintings. It just really reminded me of that because of all the different, um, I don't know if you would call it mountains or valleys, desert kind of valley kind of landscape. Um, I really, really like that. And then one of the boxes has a circle for um, either the sun, I would assume, and then the other one has a moon. Um, and that really tied in really well because it wasn't too foily. This plan with me is a shorter one. It's only, I think it was 11 minutes when I looked at it because I sped everything up like I usually do. And I think I'm just going to go over some of the different things that happened this week and then I'll go ahead and let the rest of the video played out. Um, I'm trying a new music this week so hopefully it doesn't get flagged. Um, I'm really trying to figure out which ones get flagged and which ones do not and I haven't quite figured it out yet which is why you sometimes hear um, some of the same music playing over and over again. Um, on Monday this week, I just had therapy like I always do and I've been changing. I don't remember what the last time I talked to you guys was, so I'm going to go ahead and just repeat myself. If you guys are new here, I tend to do that because my memory is crap. Um, so on Monday, I had therapy and I've been changing it to bi-weekly sessions instead of the weekly sessions that I had at the beginning of this year. Um, the beginning of this year was really tough for me and I was having a hard time mentally and everything was just taking a huge toll on me so I needed to go back to therapy and try it again because I was really kind of procrastinating doing it because I knew I wanted to do it again but I kept pushing it back because I knew I would have to repeat my whole story and t tell it to a new person and if that person didn't work out then I would have to tell another person and I was really just not trying to do that and ironically I had to switch my therapist. I had a really nice therapist at the beginning of the year and I think I did at least three months with her. I was with her for quite a long time um, just because I have anxiety of like basically breaking up with the therapist so I was trying to work with her for the longest time but I just felt like a lot of the session it was like not focused on me which kind of sounds narcissistic but when I'm kind of paying someone to listen to me and help me um, it's kind of just I'd rather have it be more focused on me and have my time spent um, on the problems that I'm having because obviously that's how I resolve them um, and talking out the problems that I have really helps a lot um, so I ended up with her a while ago and I've been seeing this other lady 
um, for a couple months now, I think, and she has helped me a lot. If you've watched my old videos, I think I've talked about her a little bit, um, but she's helped me immensely, and she had goals for me, and she just... I think all my therapists have pushed me to be a more brave person in terms of doing things, but this one in particular just kind of gives me kind of a forethought of why I do a lot of the things I do and just having that thought before actually doing things, and I think that helps me a lot. And I'm obviously an advocate for therapy. My husband doesn't really understand it and doesn't think he'll ever do it unless I like want to do it with him, um, which I do in the future, but I also don't want to force him into it if he doesn't want to. Um, but I'm so glad to say that I'm doing it bi-weekly now because I used to feel the need to talk to her or talk to somebody weekly just to get things off of my chest. And I've just been feeling better and better and having less things to talk about, which I think is a good thing. Um, some other things that happened this week is I went to eat dinner at my in-laws, which I haven't done in a while. Um, so I noted that down and there was just a lot of work stuff this week. I also started a new K-drama that I've been slowly watching, not really doing so quickly. Work and life has just been really busy, so I've just kind of been really slow on being able to watch my K-dramas. And I've been kind of going on YouTube more and watching things that I want to watch on there. Catching up with my K-pop because there's a lot of um, groups coming up with new songs and stuff like that. Um, another thing I did this week was I watched Girls Planet 999 episode 7 and 8. And it's this variety show, or I don't know if it's considered a variety show, but it's basically a competition show where 33 girls from Japan, China, and Korea all compete um, to end up being a girl group of nine members. Um, and I actually finished it two days ago at this point, And I can't say I'm really happy with the results, but um, I guess it's like you, n you never know if it's really true results or not, but it was just really surprising. Um, some other things that happened this week was just some work issues, which is not always the best feeling, obviously. I am a special education teacher if you are new to my channel, and it's usually pretty hard to advocate for my kids, I feel like. A lot of the time, even with as much data and observations and as much stuff you know about the child, it's still a hard battle sometimes to deal with other people that are in this field. And unfortunately, it makes you deal with a lot more people because you have to deal with so many therapists and other so selected providers um, that are helping your child as well. But um, our school this year is just like lacking on SICAs and that's a complicated issue that's been troubling for me for this school year and luckily it's fixed now but it was um it was taking a while for it to be done um so that there's just a lot of work stuff that happened this week that made me upset um anyway moving on to friday it was the first day of october so i made sure to mark that down i had an extra sticker from i think a caress press or hair rate design um in my extra sticker stash so i ended up using that and this night i actually went out with my cousins and my friends and it was our first time going to a dj event in a while it was my fir sister's first rave event and i love dancing and i love singing and raves i feel like are just like a good combination of the both of those things and everybody's generally i should say everybody's usually pretty nice at those things um so my sister went for the first time and it was in between her birthday and her husband's birthday so they just both came out to celebrate and um, this day was also the day when my, like, one of my top favorite K-pop girl groups came out with an English, all English song called, um, The Feels from Twice, and I love it so much, it's so good, and it's on repeat non-stop, so that happened on Friday. Now, Saturday, if you guys need some advice about wedding planning, I would advise to not go to a concert the day before. You need to go early to try on dresses because the next day, specifically my sister, she was feeling horrible. But we went to a liquidation um, sale that was happening and I went in with all my cousins. I'm getting married along with my two other cousins and one of my cousins is actually... She actually said yes to the dress at the liquidation, so I was really happy for her and um, I wasn't able to find anything, but I was really happy that she was able to. It was pouring rain that day and it was just really tiring, but I got to go to Pho Cafe and have some pho, which is delicious. It's Vietnamese noodles basically with broth and I was able to go to Hollow Jasmine, which is my favorite boba place. 
finally on Sunday I was able to just clean the house that day I did a lot of chores and I was also able to pull some stickers film and edit for my week 20 spread um, which was the week the spread that you saw before this and this day my husband and I actually finished the show clickbait that people were talking about and I did not like it at all I think I gave it like a zero to one if if I'm being generous, I would give it a 1, but there was just a lot of things that I didn't like about the show. I was hearing so many things from everybody else to, that was talking about it, but I just didn't like it at all. If you guys would like to join the conversation below, just go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are, because I really just couldn't get into it, and maybe it's because everybody was talking about it, so I was expecting greater things, and it ended up not being so great that I was disappointed, um, but... I thought I would have some more time, I'm sorry, I thought I would have more time for you guys to enjoy some music before the end of this video, but I guess I basically talked through the rest of the spread. Um, I really, really enjoyed using this kit. I loved doing different layering elements even though I didn't do too much. Um, this spread was simple enough and decorated enough that I really enjoyed how it looks at the end, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. The spread totally makes me ready for autumn and I'm so excited that the weather is getting colder and more like sweat sweater weather but in Chicago it is getting a lot rainier so it's not that nice um, but I hope this weather keeps up and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching like always. If you guys want some close-ups make sure to check out my Instagram at Plan with Eva, and I'll make sure to talk to you guys soon. Bye!